Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this time, I cannot believe it, but I am reviewing the 2023 Tesla Roadster SpaceX Edition. So this is not my car, this actually belongs to K-Giraffe, so thank you so much, uh, K-Giraffe, for letting me borrow your car for this review. So yeah, I this is so cool, I'm finally reviewing this car. So yeah, before I've said I never really liked this car, but honestly, looking at it now, it, it looks pretty epic, so... Um, yeah, the front is super cool. I've just noticed these, um, things right here. I have no idea what they are, but, um, yeah, it looks really cool. Um, at the back, the SpaceX Edition has these, uh, little spoilers. Those look pretty epic. Um, this car is wide. Like, at the back, it's super wide. That looks super good. Um, and then there's this massive diffuser right here with four rocket engines. Um, yeah, this thing is just crazy. But what's even crazier than that is the interior. So, um... Just look at the way that the interior is styled, like, it looks so good. So this car uh, seats four, that's pretty cool, um, although at the back my head is going right through the window. So um, look at what it looks like when I turn it on, just watch this. So uh, when I turn it on, look at this, there's a little Tesla Roadster that shows up on the screen, like look at that, that is so cool. So yeah, that is really cool. Obviously, we have the crazy uh, yoke steering wheel that looks so good. And there are even buttons on it. Like, the amount of detail on this car is just crazy. Also, it's painted in this reddish-orange, which looks so good. Alright, so now for the light test. So, uh, here are the headlights. Yeah, really, really nice. Super detailed. At the back, too. Super clean. Um, here are the signals. Really nice at the front. Really nice at the back, yeah, everything is super clean on this car. Um, here are the reverse lights. Yeah, super clean. Here's the horn. Pretty normal. Um, yeah, that's really good. Alright, so now I'm gonna go look at this car in the dealership. So, uh, here it is. It's called the 2023 Celestial Type 1. So, um... There are two trims, the Signature for $2 million, and the Extraterrestrial for $5 million. So that is the one I'm reviewing today. Um, so yeah, it costs $5 million. That's so much money. So here are the specs. 335 plus miles an hour. It says it has 450 horsepower, but that is not accurate at all. It has an excellent range of 700 miles. Like, that is just crazy. Um, it weighs 3,600 pounds, it's all-wheel drive, and it actually seats four. So here are the colors, pearl white, silver metallic, red, solid black, midnight silver, which I really like, and deep blue metallic. So there's only one rim option, and that is the base. Alright, so let's take this thing for a drive now. Oh my gosh! Okay, wow. Alright, so uh, to launch this car, it's really simple. You don't need to do anything. You just press on the accelerator. So, here we go. And uh, obviously, you have to press J. Yeah, so you press J. And it does that. And if you press G, I think it does a sound too. Alright, so yeah, to launch this thing, you press J. It doesn't actually do anything, it just sounds cool. So, here we go. Oh my gosh. There's 120, 150, 180, 210, 240. Oh my gosh. There's 300 miles an hour. There's 330. Oh my gosh. There's three... Oh, this car's all over the place. Alright, stop, 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 stop. So I believe we hit 330 miles an hour there. Alright, so let's switch it into KPH. Oh my gosh, this thing will hit 500 kilometers an hour. There's 400 kilometers an hour right there. There's 440, 480, and 506 right there. Alright, so now we're going to try to hit the top speed, which is 340. So uh, while we're at it, let's just time this, because it is tricky to hit 340. Here we go. It's 
it's already 270 miles an hour. There's 300 miles an hour. 330. Oh my gosh. That was a bit scary. Get around this corner. Oh my gosh, there's 330. 334, 335. Come on, 336. 337. And that's it, 337. So yeah, um, the fastest this thing will go is 337 miles an hour. So it goes from 0 to 337 in only 26.94 seconds. Alright, so uh, now for the test. So um, here's a 0 to 60 test. This shouldn't take long. Boom. So this goes from 0 to 60 in 1.25 seconds. That is the fastest 0 to 60 for any car in Greenville. Oh! So now for the 0 to 100 test. That was about 0 to 100. Um, so it does 0 to about 100 in 2.36 seconds. So this goes from 0 to 100 miles an hour faster then pretty much every supercar in Greenville goes from 0 to 60. Alright, so uh, here is a 0 to 300 test. That has never been done before. Here we go, 150 already, 180, 210, 270, and 300. Alright, so this goes from 0 to 300 in 7.92 seconds, which means it goes from 0 to 300 faster than most supercars go from 0 to 100. That is just crazy. This car is so fast. And boom, I'm just casually doing 291. Alright, so now for the braking test. So here's a braking test from 55. Oh, wow. Alright, so this goes from 55 to 0 in 1.06 seconds. So, um, here is a 100 to 0 test. Wow, look at how this thing handles cruise control. So this goes from 100 to 0 in 1.93 seconds. All right, so here is a 300 to zero test. Only 7.9 seconds to 300, and here we go. Oh no. So uh, now for the handling. So when you go around a corner, you have to make sure like the power is not on. If it is, then watch well. If it is, then it'll just do this. Like, it'll just, like, spin out and drift and go crazy like that. So, when going around a corner, you cannot have, like, the power on. So, yeah, this car is completely different. Like, like, it's just so, so fast. Brakes lock up easily, so, um, that makes things tricky. But, um, yeah, this car does have a lot of grip. Although it's really hard to use all of it because, like that, it's just so fast. Oh my gosh. Like, this car is just so crazy. Like, this car is just so hard to drive, like that. Like, it's just almost impossible, so... It's not- I wouldn't say it's a fun car to drive around the corners. It's more terrifying. But one thing this car can do is drift. So just watch this. I haven't tried this before, but I'm, I know it'll do it. So you just go around this roundabout right here. Oh my gosh. It should be able to do one full lap of the roundabout. So yeah, it's really hard. It, it like... Wow, yeah. It's just... This car is just crazy. Alright, so let's try to do one full lap. Wow. Whoa! How is it even doing that? Alright, I need to go to like an open place to test that. 
Alright, so let's try drifting here. Yeah, this car, whoa! It's just so tricky. Yeah, it, it can't drift anymore. I think it used to be able to, but... Yeah, now it really can't. It just wants to straighten out. Oh! 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 I think we did it! Yes! Look at this! Look at this, guys! Alright, yeah! Look at this! So this thing can do it, actually. Alright, so now for the track test. So, um, yeah, this car is, like, really hard to drive, but it's really, really fast in a straight line. So, um, I'm guessing it'll be the fastest car around the track. I'm, it must be able to do, like, around a 1 minute 10. So, um, the McLaren Speedtail did it in around a 1 minute 14. So let's see what this car can do. Go first corner, already almost 130. Whoa! It's just really hard to use that power in the corners. Like, it just wants to straighten out. This car is just so tricky to drive. Oh, wow, yeah. It just wants to go in a straight line when you have the power on. Here we go. Fastest I've ever gone on this straight is 240, and boom, 250 right there. Brakes squealing right there. Oh my gosh, this thing just wants to straighten out. This thing is just crazy. Boom, 240. We go around this corner. This should be... Actually, that's pretty good. Oh, break, break, break. This car is so scary to drive. One, Already 180, like no car does that. Here we go. Alright, so um, this car did it in 1 minute 15.76, and that is due to the fact that the handling is just, like, crazy. So yeah, it's really hard to um, drive it quickly, like, coming out of a corner. It's just crazy. It'll spin out easily. Um, yeah, that is obviously a really fast time, but it's not as fast as the speed tail around this track. So yeah, um, this is a very, very, very impressive car. Um, yeah, it's $5 million, I don't think it's worth it since the speed tail is faster around the track. Um, yeah, the main problem with this car is the crazy handling. Um, yeah, so, it's, it's extremely fast in a straight line, and it's a really impressive car. Um, yeah, I'm still not gonna get one, but it is a really, really cool machine. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to join my GVRP Discord, and I'll see you in the next video.